Hey, it's Tim here. Tableau Desktop now has a free version that allows you to save to your desktop. Let me explain. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so four days ago at Tableau Conference, Ryan Ate during the keynote announced that Tableau Public Desktop Edition would be getting the ability to save locally. And Tableau have delivered on that promise almost immediately with a patch update to 24.1 incrementing it to 24.1.2. You can actually see that pop up here inside of Tableau Public. Over on the right hand side, there's a nice big blue pop up telling you, hey, you can now save locally. What this essentially means is that previously with Tableau Public, what you had to do was save up to Tableau Public. Essentially, you couldn't save a file to your sort of desktop or to a folder on your machine. And that kind of meant it was difficult to really get away with using Tableau Public in a work setting because Tableau Public was never really meant for an enterprise setting. And now that you can save locally, it means you kind of have a lot of room to play with and learn Tableau. And that's really fundamentally what they've done here. They've sort of incrementally added this capability so Tableau Public can really be the version that everyone uses to be familiar with Tableau. It still has a limitation with databases. You can't connect to databases. You can see here the list of databases is, is basically non-existent. The only thing you'll be able to connect to are web data connectors, Google Drive, and OData. That's essentially it. But static files on your machine will be fine. Microsoft Excel, text file, JSON, PDF, spatial, and statistical files all absolutely fine. So that's what you can do. Let me just show you this feature working because there is one gotcha that, I, that, that, that made me kind of wonder where is this feature? So let me just show you this. I'll connect to a data source very, very quickly so you can see this capability. Here I am in Excel, sorry, in Tableau. I've downloaded uh, Superstore. I've opened it up, uh, I've opened the orders table, gone into sheet one. We're gonna build the fastest chart we can build. I'm freezing because I can't find segment. Let's go get cells and columns and boom. We'll make this vertical by rotating it and voila, we have a chart. Now I want to save this. The first thing I did was I hit the save button because of course you do. That's what I've always done with Tableau Public. Expecting to see the save option here. It doesn't come up here. Actually, what happens is that button still connects to Tableau Public, the website version. If I close that and instead we go to the file menu, which I'll pop up here at the top, you'll see we now have two options, save and save as. If I go ahead and hit save, then this will allow me to save this to my desktop and we can pretty much go ahead and save that. And as soon as we do that, it will save that to my machine. So that's it, <laughs> We've, we're done. That's, that's essentially all we need to do. It's super simple. I've actually got the workbook here on my desktop. Let me show you that it's actually on my desktop. What I'm gonna have to do is swipe over out of the full screen experience and bring over my desktop. You can see the file is right there. And uh, if you go ahead and open this, you can open it with Tableau Public and you're pretty much good to go. I've also got the Apple Silicon version on my machine. And one detail about that is that because this Tableau Public Edition is coming out before 24.2, this version of Tableau Public on a Mac is not using the Apple Silicon native version. So what I'm expecting is with the next release of 24.2, the Public Edition will get an Apple Silicon variant with the save local version of Tableau Public as well. So that's super good to hear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.